We're here today to cut the ribbon on a $25 million facility. The Swift Research Center has already begun to replenish the thirsty Potomac Aquifer with the Swift water. Swift, when fully implemented, will reduce the amount of nutrients HRSD discharges to the Chesapeake Bay by 90%. Once complete in 2030, SWIFT will be supplying over 100 million gallons of purified water to the Potomac Aquifer daily, restoring this vital natural resource. Our engineering marvels used to be pyramids and they used to be cathedrals, skyscrapers. SWIFT and the beginnings with this research center is, is certainly an engineering marvel on that scale. And that frames it really nicely for me just to think about how impressive this project is and it is truly a, a monument to sustainability. a big day for everyone who's been working so hard to make this happen. It's a great feeling and we have a great team working behind the scenes so I'm super happy to be involved in this project. I am thrilled that they've finally gotten to this point and they've done it so quickly and that's because they've gotten a lot of support from the community and from the General Assembly and I can't thank them enough. It takes a village to pull off a project of this magnitude and really to have the vision and the innovation to bring something like this to fruition is really remarkable. Not like anything they've done before. Amazing wonders. Technology that I can't understand, but I think it's awesome that humanity is able to do, go this far. There are many different needs that, that we have in water quality here in Virginia, and this project serves no less than half a dozen of them. And, um, and it does it really cost effectively. Not only is it an environmentally important project, but it's also to support the long-term economy of the region as well. Huge efforts. Huge investment in the, re in the region, it'll create a lot of jobs. We're just so excited about what's to come in the future and where we are sitting today. I know the future generation will have great benefits from what happens here. I'm a STEM teacher at Portsmouth Public Schools. This is great to take back to the kids and possibly bring the kids to tour the facility as well. This is the type of thing that we as a public policy body need to get behind, need to work with the pilot project to make sure it works and hope that it will begin making steps to return us to in a direction that we need to go. So here's to clean Virginia rivers, a restored Chesapeake Bay, and a sustainable source of groundwater. Together we can ensure future generations will inherit clean waterways and be able to keep them clean.